Hey everybody, this is Spencer, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Shadow Guide 23, uh, which is the one of the two newest Shadow t Guide version 2s that is available uh, from Tom Bin, for a limited time anyways. So I thought I would just talk a little bit about the bag first. Uh, so this is a fully filled bag, so I have it filled up all the way. I'm going to show you what I have in it for a trip that I took to Connecticut. Uh, but first, just some details. So first of all, we have down here the uh, 1050 uh, ballistic nylon bottom, and then a 525 ballistic nylon uh, uh, body. So turning it over, we have our edgeless straps, uh, a improved back grid, which I really like, so I know it might be hard to see. It was easier to see in my Shadow Guide uh, 33 video, but there's these contoured backs, these contoured uh, little ridges that allow um, allow your back to breathe a little better. Um, I haven't worn it for an extended period of time, so I can't verify that one way or the other, but I can tell you it is very comfortable. Uh, there is inside an internal frame. Uh, I have the buckle on here, the, the waist buckle. I did not end up using that. Uh, the internal frame is in here, so it sits inside. It is removable in case you wanted to remove it. And then, of course, the laptop compartment, which right now houses my iPad. Beside housing my iPad, I, this is like the most important part for me of this internal laptop pocket, uh, was the question, can it fit a 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is pretty much the thing that I use my, for my career, my life. Uh, it has everything I have on it. And uh, they mentioned on the website that the 15-inch should fit, but the 16-inch does not quite. Um, so I, I always defer to Tom Ben's recommendations, uh, but as you can see, if I slip it in, um, it goes right in, and I can even fit in a my uh, iPad Pro as well. So they all go in, all go together. It is a little bit of a tight fit, uh, but I feel really comfortable doing that because we've got the it protected by uh, the false bottom here and the um, internal frame here. So this was a big deal to me, was to fit my 16-inch MacBook Pro. So let's crack open a bag and see what else we have. So right here at the top, we have this uh, top pocket that comes off like this, goes like that, and then you're able to get in the, the little cinch here that you're able to use to get inside of the bag. Um, for me, the top pocket, uh, they, they changed one thing from the uh, guides pack which is that the uh, zipper on the bottom, the zipper was on the bottom here to access this internal compartment. They changed it to the top. And as somebody who spends time on airplanes, or at least I used to, uh, although I got to recently, uh, can attest this is really handy for uh, being able to access things that uh, you need. Oh, there's the tag. I wanted, of course, to save that. Uh, so I have a little battery here that I use, uh, a handy little thing that has really just a bunch of wires in it. Uh, this is what I use to carry all my wires things. So put it in that one, and I love Solaris. And of course, Bose headphones, which are really handy on a plane. Always nice. Let's put those in there. Um, all right, so zip this back up. A little bit of a, I think I've got it as filled as I'm comfortable with filling it. So there it goes. Not too tight a fit, but it does have to be arranged a little bit. All right, so let's open up and just kind of see what's inside. Um, you'll notice here that there are two pockets uh, that are kind of zipped. These are, they used to be sort of horizontal as opposed to vertical, uh, if you're facing it from this perspective. It used to be horizontal and mesh. Uh, I think these are more useful. Uh, in fact, I wonder if my little charge battery would fit in there. I haven't tried that yet. So let's take a look. And that actually it looks like it would uh, fit in there. So that is a... Useful little pocket uh, for just some knickknacks. So I'm going to open this up uh, and then just show you what's inside. So uh, I know it's really hard to see. I'll get the light as, as much as I can. Uh, okay, so uh, I have it filled up pretty well. Um, I haven't filled it up all of the way. Uh, I've left a little room on the top simply because I wanted to be able to clone it, clo close it with some slack. Uh, but see here, we've got my adapter for my MacBook. Course spiff kit, which contains my toiletries, very useful. Uh, let's see. And then uh, I think I just haphazardously uh, threw some uh, clothes in here and a pair of nicer jeans for going out if, uh, if I chose to do so. And a packing cube shoulder bag. So this is worth a talk about on its own. Um, I am a, I, I'm going to do a separate video on the Packing Cube shoulder bag, uh, but I thought I'd carry it because, you know, why not? I just got it, and so why not carry it? So all of my 
undies and things and uh, sleep clothes in there. Let's put that right there. And then a Freudian slip, which contains kind of my mobile workstation. This is just usually how I organize this sort of the bulkier items uh, that come with having a mobile workstation. I've got my Roost laptop stand, keyboard here, uh, trackpad here, and then a wired mouse in case I wanted to use it. And then if I wanted to carry papers or anything else, uh, I would do so in here. I used to carry the battery in this zippered part. I used to carry, oh, well, there you go. I have a USB thing in there. Uh, I used to carry the, that uh, anchor battery that I showed you. I used to carry it in the zippered part. Uh, and uh, so but this is usually just how I organize. Gives a, a tiny bit of, it, it provides a tiny bit of structure, but really just has a convenient place to hold it. It's really too big for that purpose, but that's how I use it. And then we have the bottom of the bag. The bag is empty. So let me talk about this uh, a little bit as a travel bag. First of all, I think you've heard me say before, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, specifically about the, uh, I'll get these things out, about the bound straps versus the edgeless. Uh, when I first got the edgeless straps, I was a huge fan of them, and I still am. Um, but for EDC, I prefer the bound straps uh, on my Synapse. That said, because I had this bag filled up all the way with you know, condensed items, a lot of density, so a lot of weight, it adds weight. These are really handy. These really shine uh, when you get that heavy. So, um, talking about this versus the 33, I'm going to go into this in further depth in my Shadow Guide 23 versus Shadow Guide 33 video. But suffice it to stay, say that uh, I think that this is really the ideal size for a Shadow Guide. I applaud um, Nick, Tom, Darcy, and all the crew there for uh, really thinking that you know a, a smaller Shadow Guide would make sense, and it really does. I think that this size is perfect for you know. Uh, a few nights of travel, I could probably get away with even up to a week if I really tried hard. Um, and not to mention that uh, I think that it's a, actually an ideal size for uh, everyday carry if you wanted to do so. Because stylistically speaking, this bag speaks to me. Uh, it looks a lot better when it's filled up. But uh, I really love the minimalism and I love to just kind of just throw it all in. But I also love the organization of the Synapse. So I'm going to do a video on this versus the Synapse 25 to maybe help you decide uh, so stay tuned, and uh, I appreciate you, and uh, appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.